Yes, what's on your mind? Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. Seen more than my share of wars. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter these Sith animals can unleash. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My homeworld was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop them. I'm just a soldier. I go where the fleet admirals tell me to. I follow my orders and I do my duty. It, it's just... <sighs> Doesn't seem right that doing that means I failed them. I, I didn't. No, I, I know. Don't worry about it. I just... I'm, I must not be making much sense. You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action. Keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. Right, you alien scum. Everybody, get up against the wall! This is a raid! King Bamurira, Tonk King Ba Nongkonek. That's how we Sith deal with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you, get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives! Attack! <laughs> Ready. What? Kiska do Sukiku ba nabona naikachu agto inkotu topa da bunkwalya gandona go chuchut kabachi kuita hodonga yalamo inkapun jiloba murirani bobo wango kumbeska kang ba mamarurira kuyami juskuna chitanai. Ina kun mama ruli ra ra chikun slimo patona rundi hadonga chikun kabi. Jawana bota ayu hata honga chakanki dora kachi kuita hodonga topa da bung wali agando dona no chut chut muksha papangpa bola wana chikne bamuli slimo boda wanga kun best muli ra ra best uba batu kochi tong nong bong chang nung yang tong hatok smak delia. No problem. Got it. Chachika don mulaka wata yu maka wamahona neck. A shanti to unuman. Baboda ni unkis matoma. Tuk ni nan kongu na mura ra. No problem. Got it. No problem. Got it. <laughs> Tong hai tuam jiji jum lumpa ni tapu e tiki tu dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chu chu kachi chu ita dun donga yu malita kuto dun jila mulane ni du bobo wonga kumbis chang ba mulera runda di ho donga kun hanka bi. Wanna kun bez ching palamule tung king ba nunotek? Tuk nin chatu kun ne mule rabes. Chi gratu loda bograshi onion kumba chin tumba muchuba. Loda nita kun 
i da patiso batua kacha tu tonga bagra sha kon ti cha ko um chuba kaha chopa chawa chuish yunku jodo jit bunga rantang ta kum jus tak miki grabul mogo kachi chu ita bodunga tolba bank wale oganda naru chuchut mogi sha punga bola wana chikne Mule slimo puta da da nanga kumbist mule rabes. And I can tell you from experience that they aren't any good at all against a simple vibroblade. That's why the Republic has been training soldiers in hand to hand and melee combat. Tong hai tuam jiji jum lumpa ni ta poe tikito dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chuchut kachi chu ita dundonga yu malita kuto dun. Chila mula ne ni du bobo. Wonga kumbis chang ba mulera. Ta kum jus tak miki grabul mogo. Kachichu ita bodunga. Tolba bank wale oganda naru chuchut. Mogi sha punga bola wana chikne. Ba mule slimo puta da da nanga kumbis mulera bes. Chi gratu loda bograshi onni un kumba chin tondo muchuba. Loda ni ta kun. I da patiso batua kacha tu tonga. Bagra sha kun ti cha ko um. Chuba kaha chopa chawa chuish yunku. Jodo jid bunga rantang. Tolpa da bongwale gandu nangu chuchut. Kava du mku pelio bo tenya. Bonanai kuchu. Hawaga boska chokola. Mucha shag panka. Runda di ho tonga kun honka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tonking ba nunotek. Tuk nin cha tu kun de mule rabez tong abog sha um ninong. Wanga kun bez keng palemuraya. Chuni yun tun chichi it. Ajuta, wonga kun bis dolpi kikuyana. Dong. Oh. Uh. Uh. No problem. Got it. Who are you? What are you doing in here? You can't just come barging into someone's home. That's no excuse. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments because you're curious. But at least you're more polite than that pig Holden. Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. Well, I suppose you seem like an all right sort. When I cut Holden, it made him back off, but it also embarrassed him in front of his friends. Holden's a spiteful little hut slug. He went and put out a bounty on my head for what I did. That's why I'm hiding out here. I doubt it. Holden is one of Darvik's men. When you work for the local crime lord, the authorities tend to turn a blind eye. I'm afraid this is between me and Holden now. You could try, I guess. He usually hangs out at the cantina in the lower city. It probably won't do any good. 
Holden's used to getting his own way. That's one of the fringe benefits of being a goon for Darvik. Working for the local crime lord lets you get away with things. Still, I appreciate the offer. Goodbye and good luck. I hope you can talk some sense into Holden. seen you in my shop before? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kebla Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. Uh, just so you know, the prices on the items are final. No bargaining here. This isn't a swap meet, okay? I only deal in top-notch stuff. People complain about the Sith, but this quarantine is good. No problem. Didn't work. Don't you just love watching the Kazakh players? All that strategy, all those credits. It's enough to make a girl get all flushed. Body Vaughn, have you come here just to bother me, or do you wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taurus? <laughs> you don't even have your own deck? Then why are you bothering me? You can't play Pazak without your own deck. If you're serious about Pazak, go speak to old Garok on the other side of the tavern. His gambling days are over, and uh, he's looking to sell his deck. Hello there, youngster. You interested in buying the Pazak deck of an old man looking to get out of the gambling game? Just 50 credits and I'll sell you all my cards. I'll even throw in a free lesson to boot. It's a great deal, if you can afford it. Don't get me wrong, the game's been good to me over the years. I've traveled the span of the galaxy, from the core worlds to the farthest reaches of the Outer Rim. I've won countless fortunes, and lost countless more. But that was long ago, and things have changed. Gambling is a young man's game. That's why I'm looking to get out. My offer still stands. Fifty credits get you my old Pazak deck, and a free lesson. A great offer if you can afford it. Glad to see you're interested in the grand old game. The rules are pretty simple. Here, I'll load them up into your data pad so you can check them out anytime you want. Good luck. I hope the game's as good to you as it was to me. Now, is there anything else I can do for you?
Hi there. I haven't seen you around before. Of course, they don't give us Sith officers from the military base much time off. I'm off duty right now, so I'm not in uniform. My name is Sana, junior officer, first class with the Sith occupation force. I'm actually a little surprised you're talking to me at all. Most of the people here on Taris can't stand us Sith. It can make this job pretty lonely. That's true. Her people don't appreciate what we've done for them. We could have slapped a curfew on this whole planet, but we didn't. You know, it's like everyone on this backwater planet is in a permanent bad mood. Don't they know we have to make the best of things? Exactly, it's all about attitude. I didn't ask to be assigned to this backwater planet, but I try to make the best of it. It's pretty easy to get depressed on an assignment like this, but we do what we can to keep our spirits up. That's true. It's nice to meet someone who understands what I'm going through. It's good to talk about this stuff. It gets pretty lonely at the military base. I have to get going soon. I've got a ship to the military base, but some of us junior Sith officers are having a party tonight to blow off some steam. I'd really like to see you again. Why don't you drop by the party? I'll show you where it is on your map. Don't be late. We're starting right after our ship's end. Most of us won't even be going back to the base to lock up our uniforms. I look forward to seeing you there. What? Why are you speaking to me? Can't you tell from my clothing that I'm of the nobility? Get away from me. I can't be seen talking with a common rabble. You wouldn't be proper for a man of my standing. You aren't from Terrace, are you? Do yourself a favor and stay away from the Teresian Ale. It packs more kick- No hard feelings, my good man. But I can't really talk with you right now. It's difficult enough to draw the interest of the ladies in this establishment as it is. Surely you understand what I'm talking about. I would guess you've experienced many lonely evenings. Something I'm hoping to avoid tonight.
If you're here to complain about the quarantine, don't... This Theresian ale is fantastic. Why do you poor folk always smell so... Where did you get those clothes? A trash compactor in the lower city? And where are those drinks we ordered? Careful what you say. I get the feeling the spoiled brat could cause us more trouble than she's worth. Why is the help here so incompetent? One word from Daddy and I could get you fired. It's too late for apologies. Daddy's going to hear about this. You'll lose your job for sure. I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match. Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and Girl on fighting. It's not like we're gonna miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start, so quit complaining and just watch the view screen. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now, I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll. In this corner, I give you Gurlon Twofinger. And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever-persistent Deadeye Duncan! <laughs> and to nobody's great surprise, Deadeye is down again! Don't worry, folks, he's just unconscious. As usual, our medics will have him up and about in a bit. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? So I give you the winner, Gerlon Twofinger. Gerlon used to be one of the best in the game. Now he's barely better than old Deadeye Duncan. Marl's been around forever. I wonder if he ever thinks about retiring. What are you looking at, fresh meat? You want a piece of me? You want to step in the dueling chambers with me? You know, the dueling chambers. Two people in combat, loser gets carried out unconscious on a stretcher. It's the only reason people come into this part of the cantina. Look, I'm the number five ranked duelist around here. I don't have time to explain all this. Go talk to the duel organizer if you're interested. He's that hut over there in the corner. Uh, five? But it's an elite group, okay? It's not like just anyone can step into the dueling chamber. Well, actually, anyone can. But not many do. Big talk. Go speak with the hut in the corner to back it up. He's the duel organizer. I'll look forward to our match. Fresh meat is just what I need to end my losing streak. <laughs> Fibroblades and blasters, and nobody ever dies. How come I get the feeling you're trying to take us for a ride? Gioca con molera, quien con yo pesa, no va molera allí. Con yo tora allí, ahí está tía. 
Ya chisca don puta, casa bubaca, ho 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 ho, tumba toras materia, he he, asuta, unga con visto el pique coliana. He 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 he, tawa na rota, ayot tago, ha ha ha. Kanke doba na ime juice, kotis kana yo ho ho ho. Tumba toras materia, he he, asuta, wonga kumbis dol peki koliana. Kava dumpa kurpi ye ya moka pata, chis kani cho, yinkin kono bamure, kipona. Ona na kacho, kimba mule ratwana, ta upa bote niago jojo piti. This is for the best. We could use those credits from these duels, but using your real name is too risky. The Sith might have come across a crew manifest back on the end of our spot. Ako che popa, kino mule ra king paja, snima pui duana. He 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 he. Tawa na rota, ayot tago, ha ha ha! Kanki doba na ime chus, kuchis kanay, ho 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 ho! Uchang yon turong chiwifa, uyaon na chinek, bamulera kun miskin! Ladies and gentlemen! Draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. You've seen him lose night after night after night, but this time he's after fresh meat. In this corner, I give you Jedi Duncan. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name. The Mysterious Stranger! Yeah. It's over! The fight is over! The Mysterious Stranger has won! But we are any of us surprised? Dead Eye losing isn't new. You have to do better than that to impress us, stranger. What do you want? Oh, let me guess. You beat me in the dueling ring, and now you're gonna rub it in my face. Yeah, well, I'm used to it. So pardon me if I ignore your gloating. Gee, I wonder why. Couldn't have anything to do with being the worst duelist on Terrace, could it? Even a rookie like you got the better of me. Look, I admit it, you're better than me. Everyone's better than me. Blindfolded, one-legged tack with a rusty knife could probably beat me, okay? Is that what you wanted to hear? You satisfied yet? Are you happy now that you've taken the last shred of dignity I have? Slime rat. <laughs> Casa bubaca, ho 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 ho, chioca con molera, quien con yo pesa, no va a moler allí. Que yo tora un chi, a esta tía. I saw you're getting a Pazak lesson from that old fossil Garuk. Learning the rules of Pazak is easy, but actually playing the game is a much greater challenge. Normally, I wouldn't bother with a novice like you. But since Gerud was banned for hustling cards, I haven't been able to find a good game around here. Do you wish to play him? I'm going to enjoy relieving you of your credits almost as much as I'm going to enjoy humiliating you. <laughs>
You were lucky to win the last match. But luck is no substitute for skill in Pazak. If you are foolish enough to play me again, I won't repeat the mistake of underestimating you. If you ever wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taris, <laughs> you know where to find me. Yes, what's on your mind? I guess I did say you could ask me questions later, didn't I? Is this really necessary? No, no, I don't have a problem with it, really. Go ahead and interrogate me. No, I was just joking. Though, you do seem to be full of questions. It's rather refreshing, to be honest. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened, from your perspective. True. Basta is as powerful as I say. She's the one who defeated Darth Revan for all. Mm. I guess that no Jedi ability, no matter how powerful, makes up for being completely surprised and outmatched. We didn't choose that battle anyway. It got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? Not at all. I just think it's a bit odd that someone who got added to the crew roster at the last minute just happens to be one of the survivors. Don't be ridiculous. You've more than proved yourself since the crash. We wouldn't have made it this far without you, but still. No. Well, maybe. Don't get me wrong, it just seems odd that someone Bastila's party specifically requested a transfer aboard happens to survive. The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board. And hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value ever, and I hate surprises. I mean, I have to expect the unexpected, just to be safe. Look, it has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone, and I have no reasons. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? All right, all right. You're pretty damn tenacious. You know that? We'll talk about it, but later. Right now, I just want to get going. Thank you. 